All right. I'm going to share with you guys what I wanted to share with you the other day. Basically, it's just another revelation from the Lord God that indicates the same thing that I have shown you guys before. That uh, I ask him the same question every time. Just for the false prophet hunters and also for the one with the book and the Bibles to where they know and it's like way too many times given the exact and same answer from the Lord God when asked the question are we truly the angels? Did both fall? And is that the spiritual war that's going on? Them, demons, bad, Satan's fallen angels, and then us, the stars of heaven. Now, I want that to be proved by having a small little line of backup. So we're going to see if the, if one of my uh, schoolmates is busy right now. Hopefully he's not. And uh, he's going to basically convey what went down, what, what, what happened on Saturday. Okay. And where we were. No, he doesn't know about the actual revelation, but I'm going to go into some semi-detailed questions on, uh, on what happened Saturday. So let's go ahead and, and go in there. It's actually press pause just in case. And we'll see if he's busy or not. Alright, so I think he's just in here cooking, so hang on. And then after we, we clarify this and where we were Saturday, then I'll let you know the details of what happened. MT. Wow, bless you one day. I scared him, sorry. Alright, so it's recording, but I want to ask uh, a question for a video for my YouTube. Sure. You're not on camera? I am? Or just, just me, I mean? Uh, so where were we on Saturday? Who were we? So we, we went to that lady's house, and we did the work. Right. Now, just for clarification from someone else's mouth, and, and this is random. He didn't know I was about to. I just walked up on him and scared him. I, he had no idea I was going to come question. Just so you guys know. You know, oh, you had it pre planned. What's up? Now, where was, or where were we roughly sitting at to, to drink in our waters after the lady gave it to us? It was, she had the trees in her yard, right? Yeah. Okay. And there was, there, how, how does it look like outside in, in, in New Mexico for those that don't? I haven't been in New Mexico. It's dirt. It's dirt and a bunch of... A bunch of weeds. Well, a bunch of re weeds and a bunch of rocks, right? Rocks, right. All right, all right. So, uh, from that, I will let you guys know what happened. All right. So, I'm going to be as quiet as possible. Okay. But, now you guys know, Saturday, we went... And basically did some good Samaritan work for this old elderly lady that cannot get up and around. Really, she's on a walker, this and that. And so we went and we pulled her weeds. We're in New Mexico. Their, their weeds are all, <laughs> about as tall as me, okay? So anyways, water break time is what happened. And speaking of water break, I'm going to take a little shot of water. But... We were doing water break time. Now, New Mexico, for those that haven't been there, pretty much 
it's the de it's the desert. Okay. So just a bunch of dirt and sand and rocks, just like you heard him say. Okay. So I'm sitting underneath a shade tree and I'm talking to God and I'm drinking my water and I'm just asking him again as you guys have seen in other little short videos of Revelation videos where it's just me asking God again show me again what you've been telling me convey it to me again if it's true have I been understanding you correctly is what you're showing me true not saying that you're a liar and not saying that he's been telling me incorrectly but have I been understanding it correctly prove to me that we are not from here and that we are the stars of heaven and that our bodies are made from the dirt but that we are living stones and that he poured out the stones of fire from heaven and that the uh, the the stars of heaven fell on some of the stars of heaven fell on stony ground those are some scriptures for you okay that's gonna tie in with what I'm about to tell you so I'm sitting there and I'm asking him this prove it to me without the Bible this time even though at the end of all of me asking him and talking to God and saying convey this to me that it's going to link to the Bible just like I just now tied in those scriptures that's what ran through my mind those scriptures when he tied it all together for me so here you go we're in the desert our bodies are made of sand we are the living stones there's stones everywhere little bitty ones like about maybe about that size right there about that size just stones okay and so I'm trying I'm sorry so I'm asking him that and that there's stones everywhere and there's sand everywhere or there's dirt everywhere and I'm asking him convey to me that that's true and he says look in front of you and I look right in front of me I'm going to try to show it to you just how I saw it and then I look right in front of me amongst the millions of rocks that are all over the place that and dirt And this is poking up out of the stones. And I'm thinking, that's just a silly looking leaf. That's not what I think it is. But really it was, that's, that's not what he, I'm not hearing that. He's, he's telling me what it is. And I'm like, no. No, 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 no way. And then the next thing was, pick it up. So I leaned right over, right in front of me. And I picked it up. And there was a star. It was upside down because we are the stars of heaven that fell on stony ground. We are the living stones. Uh recent verses that say that the the light is inside of us and that it was the oil is the spirit and the lamp is the body i'll make sure i documented those on my uh facebook page i think i have but i'll, I'll double check and uh so yeah that prayer on a water break born again of water and of the spirit and the spirit was talking to me while I was drinking water and out of 
everywhere I sat, this was right in front of me. What are the odds that among, among a, I don't know how many rocks, that was right in front of me. I could have sat somewhere else. But I sat underneath the shade tree where it was nice and cool, drinking the water, and that was in front of me. I'm not going to keep on repeating myself. But there's another, really, uh, another revelation for the false prophet hunters that say that God doesn't speak to me on the same subject, conveying the same truths. For those that have not seen the revelation videos that we have here, you can go down, scroll down, and there's plenty of them. And they all convey the same exact thing. Every time. Because God, what? He never changes. And He will lead you into all truth. And He is no lies. Okay, so anyways, I love you guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if you have subscribed, drop a, uh, a comment, hit the like button, share it with some friends, I got another video here somewhat soon, okay, about conveying the same, another thing. But I want to use one of my my friends from my ministry, my brothers from my ministry that we have on to conveying it that I was sitting here like I'm doing now and I'm doing my test, my, my Bible college test, and right in front of me is the word return unto God, return. There's multiple other ones that he's led me to already, but that one was just right there in my face. Okay. So anyway. And that's what we were talking about, too. That's what we talk about, is, is the fact that we know biblically that we are not from here, and it goes into detail that we're not from here. Not just simple, you know, just, oh yeah, we're strangers of this world. We're not to be like this world. No, we're not from here. Your body is made from the dirt, and you are from above. He sent me from above, and multiple, and multiple, and multiple others. And return, and remember where you fell from, but return unto me, and I will see you again anyways we're not from here and he keeps on telling me again and again and again and again oh oh just like that worship song anyways drop comments love you guys stay tuned again another video soon i'm gonna try to talk to him tonight about making it tomorrow all right.